walls that I built for you Just to dig me out with silver spoons No, I didn't see it coming, oh Old walls that I'm stuck inside I guess beauty sees what I can't find. Hey guys, so we're on our way to the uh, Sled and Motorsports show And uh, yeah, we got my SSB in the back We're gonna sell that quick on the way And then go check the show out Maybe show you guys some stuff at the show it's Supposed to be like side-by-sides, ATVs, sleds Timber sleds Well, just sold the stereo to that guy, and uh, yeah, so to off to the show we go. I want you to know that you are the love of my life The love of my life You never leave when the song is over You ride or die till the end You're the love of my life You're the love of my life My life Oh have a seat in there, eh? Buddy fits phenomenally. Buddy. Buddy. <laughs> Not ideal. <laughs> Not ideal, no kidding. How the hell do you get in and out? You don't, that's the thing. You get in and you die in there. Oh, good quality. So
pretty sick. It was worth the trip down. We had quite a bit of fun. Oh, look at that lineup trying to get in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it was good. We were here right when it opened, so it was sick because, like, it wasn't busy in there, really. It started getting busy toward the end, but we really got to talk to people and stuff like that. Uh, talked about a lot of, or talked to a lot of people about, like, timber sleds. Like, we talked a little bit about the side-by-sides, the yeah. ProXP, the Can-Am. The Can-Am guy didn't really have much to say about the Can-Am, but I sat in it. I didn't like it. It was all right. He couldn't even fit in it. It was no. too small. No, I didn't. That even cab try. is tight. Like you feel right in there. So I don't know. It's okay. Uh, I still like my turbo for sure. Even compared to the Pro XP, after sitting in it and everything, I haven't drove one, but the seats were comfy. I gotta say that. And uh, yeah, it looks like the Yeti is the probably the snow bike to go with if you're gonna do a track kit. I see. But. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Those Pro XP seats, they look so uncomfortable, but they're actually like all right. They're not as bad as I would think. Yeah, I gotta say, they were comfier yeah. than the Razor stock seat, but like a PRP or oh, whatever no, still no, shreds PRP, on that. Yeah, kicks their ass, <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, that's what you expect though. You pay like 1400 bucks. Yeah, exactly. That you get a comfy seat. Suspension seat is the way to go. Yeah. I'm not sure if they're an actual like suspension seat, but I thought it was weird how they didn't even use the pass through on the seat for the harness. Why yeah, that was weird. What they was the point of having the pass through? Yeah. So that was kind of weird, but so we're back in the city of construction here. Holy okay. construction everywhere around here. I think we've hit like four or five construction zones. And like, who likes to go 50? Like, come on, guys. Nobody wants to go 50. Especially if you Nobody. got the dirt max, like. Yeah, especially in the L5P. I mean, it does not want to go slow. It's nope. But yeah, so overall worth heading down here to check out the show. Oh, fuck yeah. It's good kind show. of a cloudy day and stuff. Yesterday we went out for a ride and it was kind of cloudy and stuff anyway, but it was more nicer. Out, uh, it was yeah, it was more nicer, than, nicer than today for sure. And uh, yeah, so might be looking into a snow bike kit, might not. I don't usually have a lot of time to go to the mountains, so like they kind of was talking. That's three feet of snow. We usually don't get three feet. So the main kit, like the regular kit that everyone has, and the cheaper one. But then you can buy like a more expensive one that's got a narrower track with like uh, more solid, like thicker paddles on it for more shallow snow, which would be something I'd be looking into because then you could rip it around here. But they're like start at like ten grand even for a timber sled, so they're up there for a Yeti quite a bit. So I don't know. We'll see. Give me some ideas. I got a bunch of brochures and stuff. I picked up even some spots for riding, like for the Razor and stuff, out in BC and whatnot. So that was cool to get. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we checked out a pretty sweet like sled deck setup, which I'll have good. a video before this video of that. Got to check out the new GMCs. That was cool. Yeah, checked out the new 3500 and the half tons. Not bad. Yeah. That worked. What was your favorite part? Um. I just seen the GMs, and it was kind of cool to see the Pro XP. Even though, like, I personally wouldn't buy one, but, like, it was pretty cool to see. Yeah, just to check out was uh, nice. Never really checked out, like, a Turbo S either, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. They got, like, really nice seats, way nicer seats, and, like, the steering wheel was really cool on those, too. Yeah, like, the D, and, D shaped uh, steering wheel. Yeah. And, uh, I like the wrap place, that was cool, too, to see how yeah. much a wrap would be and stuff. And actually yeah, yeah. Cool. Place. Definitely like checked out some custom wrap places, so might be doing a wrap on the RS1 maybe. or the turbo or both. Or the old Razor, the 900. Or the old Razors, 900s, maybe. Mine's got no one. stickers. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. That'd be kind of cool. cool color yeah, I'd be down with that. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for checking out the video, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.